Yay, Dawn's Arcs! Welcome everyone to your weekly Fantasy Star Online 2 podcast recorded live on January 9th, 2021. I'm one of your hosts, Prince Brightstar, and with me is Zance. Go ahead and say hello. Hello there. I don't have anything funny to say. No, that's okay. It's it's always good. It's going to happen eventually that <laughs> you're just going to run out of things uh, to say. Uh, so- I will. But then it'll come back again. <laughs> yep. Sorry for the change of the chat box this week. Uh, we're having a little trouble getting uh, Streamlabs to connect to YouTube, so this is basically just a YouTube window capture here uh, that we're seeing this week. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's sort of makeshift for the time being, and hopefully this is not permanent, what we have to do here. It's just uh, a temporary thing. So. Yeah. But hey, we got, a, uh, we got at least a, a decent-sized show uh, this week, despite there not really being any major updates uh, for PSO2 uh, this week. Uh, on either side, um, but first, why don't we uh, why don't we uh, catch up on our on our uh, gaming week? Uh, how how was your uh, gaming week here, Zance? Um, honestly, not that eventful. I did get Final Fantasy VII remake, and Congrats. yeah, that's pretty much it. Gotcha. How far did you uh, how far did you get into it? Actually, not that far currently. Um, I'm only at chapter three, I think. So. I, I need to play more of it. It's just I haven't had the time to. Gotcha. Yeah, and uh, for me, I uh, put together a, uh, a new uh, a new outfit for uh, for my cast uh, on the uh, global side. So it's uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking a bit more uh, beastly these days. I'll put it that way. Mm. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll catch up with me in game uh, soon enough that uh, that I'll be able to show you. Um, I'd, I'd put the I'd put the thing to my live viewer, except I don't have the game going right now here. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh, aside from that, uh, we are getting pretty close, at least uh, in the in the alliance, uh, that uh, we're going to be able to uh, pop the uh, the final level on the uh, tree uh, awesome. as well. Yeah. So we're right now. The the last thing we have to take care of there is uh, leveling up Masetta from level seven to level eight. And then the tree is just done. And then we just spend our points on random stuff. Yay! Yep. Yep, that is the truth. Um, and then uh, the other thing, of course, is uh, the... Uh, I hope that you got all your entries in for the closed beta test, because the window is now closed on that for New Genesis. Now we just wait to see if any of us got in. Yep. I was hoping they were going to have that out pretty quickly, but I guess not, so we'll have to see. Uh, hopefully, maybe next week, or they're going to have to say something the week after, I guess. Yeah, probably. Hopefully it's soon. Yep. But all right, why don't we go ahead and hop into uh, this week's uh, topics here. Um, starting off, uh, let's see. You know, I don't actually have it ready here. Let me uh, let me pop it up here real quick. <laughs> I thought I did. Here we go. Uh, so don't worry, uh, guys, we're at this. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we have the uh, the PSO2 comic now, uh, yep. also known it's as uh, a second. It's officially translated this time. Yep, Kusoni, uh, as it's known over in uh, Japan. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got the uh, the first uh, ten episodes, although the it says episodes here, but really they're the chapters of it. Yeah. Um, uh, this was the first chapter uh, over on the Japanese version. I'm really curious how they're going to be handling um, some of the other content that was uh, that was in this. Like we're going to be coming up on the uh, on the White Day event fairly soon in this comic, mm-hmm. actually. Yeah, because it's already did the Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. What that was that was the um, that was this one I think uh no uh maybe it was the prior one I believe episode 7 was Valentine's Day 7 oh here it is yep episode 7 and uh hello Gideon uh and oh my goodness did the chat box just start working <laughs> oh right, it did hang on. Wait, I think so <laughs> yeah alright <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all I've been trying to get that working for like the last hour here so alright uh let me take this away um, so now, uh, now if we're chatting, uh, it looks like, uh, your chat will actually be coming through here. Um, anyway, so, yeah, the, um, this is, this is gonna go to something else that, uh, that we'll be, uh, bringing up in a little bit here. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, they, they're already at the uh, Valentine's comic. Um, and even further, we got uh, Magical Robot Zect here, uh, mm -hmm. who is uh, uh, pretty well known uh, for certain things in this comic, uh, which I'll be curious if they're going to be covering that or not. Yeah, I'm curious about that as well. Yeah, I guess the game is rated M, though, so... <laughs> True. But yeah, uh, he's uh, he's got some pretty high-end equipment here. But yeah, Zekt is is quite the character. Mm -hmm. Same for Tetra, Mitra, Mitrashi, uh, uh, and, uh, and Ichika. and Ichika. Yep. And actually, um, like I said, it, the voice tickets uh, for these characters are available right now. And in the f if you go to the end of the first episode then you can see that there is a code you can enter in and you get one of the PSO2 Kami memories. Yep, it's right down here. Uh, kind of surprised that they haven't released more of those yet. Um, but yeah, who that's knows? So odd. It, it, here's the thing. Uh, it was actually revealed earlier this week that uh, if you changed uh, comic uh, in the uh, URL up here to mm -hmm. anime, the anime of the Japanese version would be playing, but it's not. It's not actually the Japanese version. It's the. Wait. It's the version that was translated into English. Wait, what? Right. Really? Yeah, the 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 one that had that had a uh, that has Ida as QA on that. Can, does that still work? Oh damn! No, no. no it doesn't. It's not available. It, it it somebody somebody stumbled upon it earlier this week, made a post on the forum, and mm. then I guess they just. They swept the whole thing under the rug. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, release that already. I want to. I want to see that. For all we know, the the VAs may still be trying to to do that, um, and they just they just haven't locked anything yet. So we'll have to see if, they, if they're going to be uh, releasing that or not. But the fact that at least the the link existed kind of mm -hmm. gives us some hope on that. Hopefully. So yeah, um, yeah. So the uh, comic is out now. You got the first ten episodes. Uh, it's a really great series if you haven't seen it before. A lot of good comedy in it, um, but also does also help uh, to explain some of the uh, some of the uh, things that are uh, that are in the that you're gonna run across in the game. Uh, let's see, what was the other one that? Yeah, this this is the uh, the one here that I'm. That's kind yeah. of one of the funnier ones here. Um, so they have these PSO2 memos uh, talking about the different functions of the game. And then you got Makino here, who is just... Uh, they're, they're just sucking up a storm here. <laughs> it's just typing gibberish. <laughs> Pretty much. So I'll let you go ahead and read that one so you can, uh, so you can learn what the, uh, what's actually going on there. Uh, although I was, uh, one thing I was thinking of making a meme out of this is, uh, saying, uh, saying, uh, <laughs> changing one of those messages. Say again? Basically one of the RMT messages. <laughs> yeah, 1M equals 1USD and things like that. <laughs> Just as a <laughs> meme, because it, it's, 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 you, you could never, it would seem like that kind of situation at that point. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so we got the uh, PSO2 comic now, uh, and uh, we'll see if they if they release all the all the chapters of this. There are some uh, some chapters that uh, dealt with things that we don't have in global, uh, especially given the current world situation. Uh, so like the the live meetup events and things like that, that was uh, part of this series. So we'll see if we're going to be given those chapters or not. Probably. Like, they, they still make reference that these characters live in Tokyo, so... That's true. Well, hopefully uh, hopefully, sometime in the future we'll be able to uh, get such an event. Mm -hmm. um, that would be great. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would love to. Um, but of course, you know, who knows when we're going to be out of this situation. Whether that be this year or next year. Better be this year. I know. Yeah, anyway... Yep. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and move on to the rest of the site updates here, starting with uh, the fact that there was an emergency maintenance that happened uh, this uh, this week, uh, which was kind of surprising. Uh, mm -hmm. There was no maintenance uh, announced, and yet it had been two weeks since the last maintenance had happened. 
so it was it was kind of unusual that nothing was being said and then suddenly hey emergency uh, emergency maintenance and then they had to uh, and then uh, the uh, what they say has the uh, major notable change here uh, is they fixed the uh, mission pass gold ticket reward uh, redemption which that's good yep so they've taken away the uh, the swap shop to trade in on that and they gave out a, a single try boost as compensation. Uh, of course, we do have some uh, some other stuff uh, this week here: a new AC scratch ticket, a uh, new urgent quest schedule, new casino event schedule, uh, new campaigns, uh, as well as a new event: uh, the Armada of Annihilation interception quest boost, uh, which we'll be getting into in just a moment here. Mm -hmm. um, but something that we do need to kind of bring up at this point here is that even though this issue has been fixed here with the Mission Pass Gold Ticket, the issue related to trading still has not been fixed um, for yeah, premium you still users. Can trade. Yeah, and this this is going on what like a month at this point, right? Mm-hmm. So, and and here's the thing: this this is a paid function, so for them to give out. Uh, a single uh, a single try boost plus 100 percent for compensation of that is is not going to be acceptable in that particular case they're gonna have to do something bigger than that um, mm -hmm. even if it be uh, I don't know what they what they could really do for this because um, or if they're ever going to fix this to be honest this it, it's it's strange because they got the mission pass fixed, but not the trading issue. And honestly, the trading issue is the much bigger issue that needs to be fixed. Yeah. Yeah, so all we can really do is hope, and then, I mean, really as fair compensation for any player that had that function, that, that's paying for that function, since a portion of that function is not working correctly, there needs to be either some sort of, like, AC uh, redemption for part of the for part of the cost on that, or Sega needs to do what they did like way back at the start of PSO2 uh, when they were having issues with uh, uh, with uh, basically days of uh, server outages while the timer for the uh, premium was running down, uh, and just give out uh, one day passes for premium for the premium users that have it active. Mm -hmm. That, that's that's really the only way that I could see them uh, see them uh, providing fair resolution on this. Um, although at that point you'd be talking about somewhere around thirty days worth of uh, single day premium. Which, which yeah, that that would be a lot to give out to people. Yep. But it it it, it it's either that or they they give out uh, a free thirty day pass instead. I think that would be more reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. I guess we'll have to see what uh, what Sega does. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, if if the function is never coming back, then there does need to be some sort of monetary compensation, uh, as well as potentially a reduction in the price of that. But I guess we'll we'll have to see. Yep. Uh, maybe reduce the price down to what it is on JP, which is uh, thirteen hundred instead of fifteen hundred. That would be fair, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would agree with you there. All right, uh, let's jump into uh, the uh, the topics that we have here uh, for uh, everything. So uh, we have a bunch of new campaigns going on here. Uh, so starting uh, so starting uh, on the sixth, uh, we had a, a new login reward campaign starting. Uh, that goes throughout this week, and each day that you log in, you get a million. Uh, experience ticket and for logging in three consecutive days uh, or, or rather three separate days during this period uh, you get an extra three million uh, experience through three tickets and then we have a join an alliance campaign so beginning this week going until the 19th with reward distribution on February 17th um, if you join an alliance with at least four members uh, then you get a 50 star gem ticket uh, without uh, with at least 12 members you get a stardust uh, accessory which we can see right here mm -hmm. 
And then if you are part of an alliance that earns at least 5,000 alliance points, uh, you're going to get a 50 star gem ticket. And if they, if the team earns uh, 10,000 uh, alliance points, then you're going to get an armor visor. Which I believe we already meet the requirements for all four. Yep, I would agree on that one. Uh, then we have another uh, uh, campaign here for client orders. Uh, this is something I need to, I still need to take care of here. Mm -hmm. uh, if you clear party maneuvers one and two from EO, uh, then you're going to get um, you're going to get a couple of items here. This section here is just talking about uh, the party bonus and how if you are as in a party uh, of up to four players, then you're going to get uh, progressively increasing uh, boosts uh, up to forty percent. Uh, yeah, so, it makes getting it, like that's the thing. It makes having and being in a party whenever you're in those farming areas extremely beneficial because you want those extra boosts. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, getting um, if you clear the uh, party maneuvers number one, then you're going to get yourself a Tokyo bonus key gold, and clearing party maneuvers two gets you a photo booth blue. Uh, I'll be honest, I wish that there were more there, because when you go with the large size rooms, uh, you can actually stack those end to end without any breaks in uh, in how it looks, and that's the only way to really get a good running shot if you're trying to go for that. Mm -hmm. But you can get a, um, a blue screen and a green screen, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the, the green screen, uh, you can get that... Where was that? I think that was in the Star Gem trade-in shop. Um, I think it's it's in one of the trade-ins that that you can get that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you, you're getting a getting a green screen and stacking uh, three in a row uh, would get you the uh, the longest set that you uh, that you could get out of that. Otherwise, with this blue one, yeah, oh, you're kind of stuck. Yeah. Say again. Uh, Rooks is saying it's from Mission Pass. Oh, from the mission pass. Okay. Gotcha. Or was in it? Strange. I, I or, remember or, it being somewhere else. Is it the mission pass? Shop? Hold on. I, I need to check that now. You know, I think you're right. I think it's the mission pass shop, not not the actual mission badge. or mission badge. There we go. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah, gonna so check real quick to see if that is. Okay. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, um, the blue one, I guess, uh, would be better uh, more if you're taking just uh, just a uh, just a standing shot of your character. Uh, do be mindful yeah. of... Uh, the green thing is in the shop. It's uh, 20 mission badges. Yep. Okay. Uh, do be uh, mindful of where you place your character in, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the area here because there is a portion of it where your character's feet will start to blend into the bottom. Uh, so just just be careful of that if you're if you're using that. Uh, as for further campaigns, we have the Annihilate the Armada campaign. So uh, from uh, the sixth until the nineteenth, uh, if you clear the third stage of the uh, Armada interception, uh, you've got uh, several boosts going on, which are going to be a, an experience plus one hundred fifty percent earned as well as a rare drop rate plus 150%. Uh, oh yeah, uh, edge lighting, yeah, definitely turn that off as well. Uh, let's see, so uh, if you clear the mission three times, you're gonna get a Star Gem 50 ticket. Clear it five times, you're gonna get a Star Gem 100 ticket. And clear it seven times, you get five augment transfer passes. And then we also have an Idola campaign going on here. So, uh, log in anytime starting next week on the 13th. Uh, you're going to get yourself a Tokyo bonus key gold each day. And if you log in at least three separate days, then you're going to get a Tokyo bonus key rainbow. Really nice there. Mm. Uh, you get three Idola stakes, which are really powerful. They give you 200 attack uh, to any stat for 30 minutes, I believe. And then you also get an Idola poster as well. Weird that they're doing the Idola stuff here and not having the connection to. Yeah. 
I agree. It's 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 a shame we're not getting uh, we're not getting the the connection there because the way that the the connection works is the more you play Idola in uh, in game, the more points you get towards uh, being able to spend things in PSO2 on the Japanese side. Yeah, and I honestly really like that. Yep. Uh, we've also got a spend AC campaign here. Uh, so spending 2,000 AC or more will get you a try boost plus, 50, uh, plus 150 percent, as well as an ex uh, a 1 million experience ticket. Spend 5,000 AC or more will get you a Rappy suit, as well as an augmentation aid plus 45 percent. And spending 10,000 AC or more will get you an EX try boost plus 150 percent and three augment transfer passes. So a little bit different from the other AC uh, AC sales that we've seen in the past. Um, these are at least somewhat okay. I know we got a lot of players that are gonna be looking to uh, renew their premium fairly soon. I know that I'm on that list uh, as well, since uh, that's kind of when the clock is gonna run out on the one I've got currently. Um, so I'm definitely considering picking up during uh, during this campaign. I might, but. Not enough to get that rappy suit. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. Uh, we also have. I just don't have dollars I can waste. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully you will soon with uh, with what you told me uh, that uh, happened for you earlier this week. Yeah, kinda. Well, yeah. But uh, by the way, I got a job, everyone. So. Indeed, congratulations on that. Yeah. Um, my job, my uh, time spending on games is going to be massively reduced but hey i'm gonna get money so i'll take it it's what you gotta do to put a roof over your head yep and hey i might actually do the scratches now that i'll have a paycheck <laughs> but just don't forget your retirement oh yeah anyway uh moving on we have a uh, we have an urgent quest campaign as well here uh so between the 13th and february 10th uh you need to uh complete any urgent quest uh, if you complete three of them, uh, you're going to get three more of those Idola stakes. Uh, complete five of them, uh, and this is starting next week. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you complete five of them, uh, you're going to get the Idola N, L, and C background boxes, uh, which you can see here. These are basically in the form of what the uh, what the character portraits look like mm -hmm. uh, in game. Uh, and you can uh, choose whatever element you want, uh, except there's no fire element here, which is kind of strange. Uh, and then if you clear uh, 10 urgent quests, uh, then you're going to receive the Order of Ares stickers, uh, two of them, as well as the Hatosuke um, weapon camo, uh, which is a talking bird that the... Uh, the VTuber uh, Papona uses here. Oh. Uh, we say P VTuber, but it, really she's the spokesperson of Idola that shows up uh, even during the uh, live broadcast for them. Ah, uh, okay. So it's, it's kind of a weird relationship because she has also appeared in the game's story as well. That's so, odd. Yeah, she she's basically canon to the game. And since she's also in in the real world, if you want to call it, I I don't I never got that. Mm -hmm. It's it's like the, it's like if you needed a fourth wall character or fourth wall breaking character to just be there for some reason. I don't know. I guess they just wanted it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's move on now to what we have for uh, the new AC scratch here this week. And give me one second here. I just realized I forgot to turn off my audio for Firefox. Hmm. There we go. That should be good. Uh, so we have the new one here called Elegant Beginnings. Let's take a look at this. Uh, and we start with the Full Moon Finery here. So this finery and the finery in this collection features gold embroidery, uh, sumptuous uh, satins. 
and mar martial accents that'll have you fit to attend a New Year celebration or an officer's ball. In addition, we'll be releasing fun scratch tickets as well. Yay! Yep. Uh, the Iron Phoenix looks like a pretty cool one there. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these are very New Year New Year's themed. Definitely. style is kind of nice there. Uh, let's see. Right there is the martial accents, the Kung Fu spirit. Yep. And we got some color variants for Ice Silica. As well as Titan Gum. So, that kind of makes sense now why they did those sets last week. Uh, with the revival, mm -hmm. still, I don't know. We're I'm still waiting on the one I'm looking for here. Yep, you still want that bright star set? Yep. And you have the katana poses here as well. Cherry Blossom viewing. You just have Cherry Blossom just fall around you. Yeah, it's a little early for that one, given that Franca's Cafe hasn't been updated for the uh, for the Cherry Blossom one yet. Yeah. Uh, also got some Lilipin outfits in here. The Lilipin suit mini, uh, as well as the black variant and the Tiger Isle Lilipin suit mini. Uh, let's see. Yep, most of the auto wear and base wear we already saw here. Yep, same for the cast set. Now uh, we got the manga eyes. <laughs> yep. They just look like big eyes. That's that's it. Yep, and then you got serrated eyes as well. Hmm. They're, they're like like a saw-like pattern on the pupil on the iris there. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, and then you've also got uh, chrome makeup. Oh, so if you have like a chrome dragon kind of set going, then you can have that chrome makeup on there. Yep, as well as the phantasm makeup. Hmm. Uh, and I guess you can kind of get some of your ninja on here if you want to do that as well this uh, this week. Or also make yourself look like a samurai. Yep. And then we've also got the Sugari cat ears here. I also saw, some, saw the devil wings. That looks pretty cool. I think we had those before, actually. Uh, maybe. Also got some shoulder plates, uh, hip shields, uh, as well as uh, the scarves down here. Uh, Kagamimi is your mag evolution device, uh, which seems to be, um, what is that, mochi? It's one of the, like, it's one of those, um, Inhabitants on the water place. I forget the name of it right now. They, they're just oh, you're talking like Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can kind of see that now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, your elemental transition this week is light. Uh, and then... It's actually I believe... really good for Lumimax. Yep. Uh well, uh, well, dark is what you want for Lumimex, but everything else is good for oh, yeah, dark. Never mind. Uh, and then Drunken Boxing is the one that we didn't see in the video uh, for the emote. It probably looks like what you think it would look like. Yeah. 
Alright, as for your bonus rewards, at 15 pulls you get the Akino Hamayumi uh, weapon camo, which is for your bows, it looks like. And then for 20 pulls you get the Loyal Guard Katana, Kokorozashi. And then they've got an Augment Insurance Max 6 slots in here as well. Uh, as well as a Hitsugi pose at 45 pulls. Then that's basically what you would expect it to be. Mm -hmm. You do one of Hitsugi's poses. Yep. And of course we have new fun this week here. Yeah, fun! The bouncy melody is the one I always like seeing. Yeah, that's that's going to be uh, that's that's a pretty fun one, and I can't wait to see how many of those you can slot in uh, for New Genesis. If you're just going to have somebody that's just covered in note blocks. Yeah, there was one uh, summoner I remember playing with that their outfit had those bouncy melodies. Uh, you've yeah. also got. Go ahead. It looks cool. It it, look, it just looks like fun. Yep. We've also got the uh, Orc Helmets as well as the uh, Pristine Devil Mass. Orc Helmets make sense because, or not not Orc, more so like a bowl. Because isn't this year the year of the Ox or something? I, I think so, yeah. So Bullhorns, there you go. Uh, and then we got the Flank Boosters. As well as the Portable Fortune Box. Hmm. And a portable gold folding screen as well. Now, I wonder how many of those you could actually line up behind your character and maybe Probably do a good, a good amount. You might be able to get a good chroma screen out of that potentially if you can if you can figure out the the two colors that are in play there. Mhm. Mm and then who wears a necktie on their head? I don't know. Some people do. It's like a makeshift bandana. Maybe, yeah. Um, yeah, that might be also in play there. Um, <laughs> regarding the uh, the 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 rappies, yeah, uh, because they they do uh, they do uh, look uh, pretty dragon like now. Uh, with, uh, with their current theme. Let's see, we've also got... Uh, actually, looks like... The, uh... Monochrome gre uh, makeup green here is the last of the new ones. And then, uh, below here is where we've got everything from last week. Uh, we do have the, uh, Enemy Rush Quest as a new music disc, I believe. And... We've got a scenery pass from Nightfall Province. And Stagger is your new emote for this week. Oh, I see what you're saying, Rooks. Okay, so then that's that's kind of a kind of an expected theme there then. Uh, regarding that somebody that might be very drunk might just put a tie on their head. All right, uh, moving on, we also have a new uh, mission pass this week here, that being for Season 12. And aside from the Void Arabite Fragments, we also have the new Lumen Fragment Emils, uh, which those are going to become uh, very important in, I would guess, the very near future, since I would expect in the very near, fu uh, in the very near future we're going to be getting Divide Quests. So, uh, we will have to uh, we'll have to see how that uh, ends up looking, uh, or, or rather, uh, what what the what the shop is going to look like for that. Uh, given that uh, I don't expect that players are going to have a ton of time uh, to go through that uh, before episode uh, before we reach the end of episode six. So, yeah, because uh, we're although, getting really close to that, aren't we? Yeah, uh, with with the break that we had this week, I I thought that um, I initially thought that we were looking at like. Uh, either Space Megatsu or uh, Divide Quests, or the end of Episode 6 this week. Um, 
but I'm now expecting something to happen in the next two weeks here, whether that be Space Megatsu or Divide Quest. Mm -hmm. Probably Divide Quest, since uh, since we're getting those uh, those uh, fragments now. Uh, yeah. yeah, the yeah, Lumen fragments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I would like if the Divide Quest comes sooner than later. Yep. Uh, and just looking at the calendar here, if that's, if that's coming on the 20th, then we're probably looking at the end of episode 6 somewhere around the 3rd of February then. Hmm. That being unless they hold it for, uh, they hold a uh, Divide Quest for a full month, at which point then it would be February 17th. Mm-hmm. Uh, so as for your uh, normal tier rewards, uh, you've got a PB Saber here, uh, which looks like that's for a double saber, as well as the Niao Waddle Race. And you have an emote to fly a kite. All right. And also, um, when it comes to the reruns in this mission, in this uh, season, we got the PB Saber, which was in uh, n season nine. The Fox Tails, which were in three. The Slit Knee Socks, which were in four. The Fun Fun Bazooka, which was in two. The Ten Gallon Hat, which was in four. And Flame Grash, Heartbreaker, Another Side Ponytail and Breaker Set, Melder Part Set, and Iona Part Set, which were all in two. Yeah, so we're getting a bunch of repeats this time with this mission pass. Mm hmm. And I think that's going to happen a good amount of times, especially with the older ones that were just on the Xbox. That way, the people who only came in after this game launched on PC are able to get those outfits that they missed out on. Yep, that would definitely be fair for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we do also have some other things here. The uh, face guard is an interesting-looking one. Yeah. Combine that with the uh, samurai helmet. Uh, and, yeah, we got the uh, Excel lips... Uh, Set for the uh, female cast here. Uh, let's see. A celebratory hat for the new year. Uh, the rectangle uh, set for the uh, for the uh, male cast. It's actually a pretty sleek looking one, actually. It is. That's I really like the, uh, the rappy cape there. <laughs> the yeah. Rappy cape. Yeah, it definitely looks looks somewhat vampiric there. Beautiful. Uh, let's see, we got the uh, Stoic Colette outfit for a female. As well as the Flame Gash, uh, which I think is... Yeah, um, I that was a, uh, like I said, the Flame Gash was a, is a repeat. Yep. Same with the Melder and the Aonia. Yep. Uh, you got Patia for your Mag Evolution device. I think we've seen the Volcanic Helmet in there before as well. Mm -hmm. And we've also got the uh, Govoid Head. Actually, the whole Govoid set is... It's, uh, it's pretty thick. Yeah, it definitely looks that <laughs> like it, it, it's thick. It, it's basically the new Titan gum. Mm. And then at uh, tier 15, okay. you got your... Oh, go ahead. You got the Hilbert set for the female cast. Yep. And yeah, you got uh, Void Airbrite um, fragments and the Luma fragment Emil that you can get from these. Mm-hmm. Which, yeah, the Luma Fragments, you normally get those through uh, Divide Quest, right? Uh, Lumen uh, Fragments uh, you get from uh, from Divide Quest, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully we get Divide Quest soon. Yeah, because they're giving out 300 of those. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, you're going to need a lot of those Fragments in order to get those good weapons. Yep. As well as a bunch of other items, uh, particularly being uh, the what is it, the grindstones, uh, as well as the uh, uh, the modules. There are three modules that you can get through there as well. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we do also have some uh, casino boosts and bonuses uh, going on starting uh, the 20th, actually. So this actually came out a bit early here. Uh, yeah. Starting the 20th, uh, they're going to be giving out a round of casino coin passes, two per day. And for if you log in for three days, then you get an extra five casino coin passes on that day. Um, there's also a new, uh, a new uh, round of uh, casino boosts, uh, which uh, you can find on the uh, calendar along with the urgent quests. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the casino boost stuff, that's the same as it's always been. But yeah, here's the calendar, and something that we noticed um, at the end of this calendar that they currently have is the Valentine's Urgent Quest. Indeed, where's the, uh, where the chocolate went? So, it's a little bit of a different name. Uh, it, mm -hmm. On the Japanese side, it's called Where's the Chocolate? Uh, but, yeah, the question's going to be, is it the 2019 version? Is it the 2020 version? Or is it possibly going to be the 2021 version? Given for the most part, we're going to be caught up to JP at that point. Yeah, pretty much. Minus the uh, level 100 level cap, which we still need to get. Yep, as well as Luster. Yep. Yeah, Luster just looks so good. I really want to have that. It's not far off now, that, that's for yep. certain. And plus, you could always drop into the Japanese version, since I know you have the account. And just yeah, uh, I play could. it there. I could, but yeah, I I don't know. I just haven't touched JP in a while. Gotcha. I already have so many so much stuff built up on my global account that going over to my JP just feels weird. Gotcha. Yeah, that's uh, that's what we have uh, for uh, PSO2 uh, global updates this week. Uh, over on the Japanese side, as we alluded to earlier. Uh, they are celebrating having 6 million ARX accounts uh, set up uh, on JP. So between January 6th and January 27th, there is a 300% experience multiplier as well as a 300% rare drop rate multiplier. And they're in the process of uh, rerunning the Space Magatsu limited quest. And as part of that, on drops for extra hard and harder, uh, they've added in grind cap plus one. Uh, the Dymo Stone, the Emmer Fragment, Grenf Crystals, the Unlock Liberate, Time Reversal Stone Kronos, Amphitite Stone, the Divine Eye Stone Grace, uh, the Profound Cynixion, Celestio Pleaxion, uh, Talon Walk, uh, the past, uh, the, those previous three are Weapon Camos, and they've also got a bit of, uh, augments And then a bunch of S Augments. Yeah. Yeah, so Eclipsing Delay, Skilled Intent 2, Flowing Grace, Calming Intent, Raising Pursuit, uh, uh, the Antith Anthes Anthes uh, Cultivation, uh, right, Raising Expanse, Glowing Grace, Rainbow Skill, and Sky Dance Boon. On top of all of that, they also have the Sage Crest campaign, which... Uh, for those of you who just play Global, the Sage Crests are stuff that you can trade to Zeke for um, the uh, high-grade weapons. I believe the 15 stars you can get with Sage Crest. Yep. Uh, they're actually giving out quite the boost on these here. Typically, it's 10 crests per each one of these goals. Uh, this time, it's 60 per goal, except for that last one, which gives you 300 Sage Crests. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, and then each day you log in, you're going to get a tri-boost plus 100%, or, or rather tri-boost X plus 100%. Uh, for three days, you get uh, two of the tri-boost EX 150%. And at five days, you get a Tokyo Key bonus rainbow. And they're also giving six million experience of, uh, away, so... Uh, once a week after maintenance, uh, players will receive six million experience in tickets to celebrate and that goes until february 17th so 24 million experience to be gotten there yeah it's a lot yep or actually no uh 30 million now that i think about it wait 30 million or is it even more one two three four five no it's it's uh it's it's time six so yeah, 36 time million six. So yeah, th 36 million experience points, I guess. Jeez. Yep. So that'll get you a few levels there. Mm-hmm. 
perfect for catching up any classes that you've been wanting to level, or if you're just new. Yep. Because, yeah, there is a reason to play on JP over global, and there's also reasons to play global over JP. Yep. So it, honestly, at this point, when it comes to the two servers, it's, on, it's down to the person's preference. If they want to play on the JP server, have to use a translation pass, or just play on in Japanese. Or if they want global with the official translation and also English voices. Yep. Also a less inflated market. Yeah, definitely. That's pretty much what's going on for uh, PSO2 uh, this week. Let's move on now to Edola. Uh, so we have... Um, there is a new event uh, happening on the global side, uh, Training Go, the Edo Rappi Investigation Team. There is a new gacha, Red Envelope Money, a new gacha for New Year Selection Gacha, as well as the new character, Sigsmon. Uh, and then there is also, uh, let's see, we've got this here for the Festival Gacha for 20,021 Star Diamonds. And there is six months there. Uh, and then there was also an issue with the uh, with the Star Diamond uh, uh, gotchas here. So uh, the uh, what they're saying here is the six month step up banner now shows correct amount of required Star Diamonds at each step. And then the 2021 New Year gotcha now shows correct information on the rate. One of the five star characters is guaranteed. Uh, and they are apologizing uh, via uh, the fact that uh, every player is receiving 2021 20, uh, free star uh, free star diamonds, and then oh. every player. Go ahead. That's actually pretty good. Yep. And then every player is entitled to pull the New Year gotcha again as well. Yeah, when it comes to those kind of gotcha games, it's pretty rare for giving uh, people free chances on getting those items. Yeah. So at least at least they're making good on this here. Mm hmm. Uh, and then on the Japanese side of things here for Idola, we have the EX series of Mane Gacha. Uh, and for a limited time, uh, that character is going to give you a Brigade Battle coin boost. Uh. For uh, limited time gotcha rewards, it looks like they're giving out a bunch of the Universal Fragment Assassins here. Uh, so you can use those to uh, turn those uh, into, a, into a stronger... Uh, uh, what was it? A, a stronger uh, weapon or soul, I, I think. Uh, for character achievements, um, if you get... Uh, if you get uh, Amane EX, you get uh, Kunai of the Rain Fragments times 5. Uh, if you limit break her to plus 4, then uh, you get the Kunai of the Rain full weapon. Uh, if you get the uh, Destiny bonus, uh, then you get 10 more of the Fragments. And at the max boost of the Destiny bonus, then you get 35 of the Rain Fragments. And that here is the weapon, uh, or rather the soul that we're talking about. Uh, lowers elemental value requirement for the max step of a normal attack to zero. And it has a potential ability when HP is above 70%, increase evasion rate by 20%. Uh, and that is for assassin characters only. Which Amane is an assassin character, so yeah, that's the weapon of choice for that character. Yep. Although assassin characters in general really aren't that good in uh, in no. Uh, until uh, January 19th, there's also a Brigade Battle Coin Boost uh, going on. And there is also a paid 5-star uh, character guaranteed 10-pull gacha. Uh, in this paid gacha, you will get at least one Amane EX per pull. Uh, with each pull, you'll get two limited dolls and only characters and symbols that are above 4-star. Yeah, it costs 5,000 star diamonds paid in order to do that, so... Yeah. Yeah. Another reason why I don't play it a lot. Yep. 
Uh, Idola, let's see. So there's also a uh, Idola battle symbol SP gotcha going on. Uh, in this gotcha, six star symbols have a sum total 8% chance of being pulled. Uh, on top of that, you're guaranteed a pull of a four star or above symbol or character when you do a 10 pull. Uh, for a limited time, the pickup symbols will grant you boosted stats in Idola battle. Uh, so you have the Strike Brute. Increases damage done to Idola body parts that are water element by 14 or 20% at max. Uh, potential ability increases elemental blast damage by 10%. Uh, you have the Elysion. Increased damage by up to 11% or 20% at max on uh, based on the elemental value. Uh, potential ability reduces damage taken from Idola by 15%. Uh, you have the Furisod Frolion. Uh, at the start of a turn, if an enemy has nine or more elemental, uh, element value. Increase all allies attack and speed by 3% or 6% at max. Potential ability is the ability can trigger twice per quest. Uh, and then we also have Into the Dream. Uh, when you get enough elements for your elemental blast, increase the chance of inflicting status effects on the target by 20% or 50% at max and increase speed by 15% or 25% at max. So uh, combine that uh, with, uh, with a character like Melissa, you're going to get shock on, uh, on an Idola or uh, other characters pretty quickly there. Mm -hmm. That's actually a really powerful one to have. Uh, there's also a reprint of the special limited uh, training quest Amani Special Training Dojo, which I think was one of the first ones we ever had in Udola? I don't know. Um, this was more on the Japanese side I'm, I'm referring to, actually. Okay. And there's also a limited event, Arena SP. Uh, so take part in the Arena SP Control the Icy Spire event. Uh, you'll receive a score boost when you use Water Element characters in the party. They have a section here for what you uh, what you achieve, uh, or rather, what your rewards are for uh, achieving top place. And uh, further down, uh, at top place, you get the Atlas Agra EX Level Five, the Universal Fragment Soul times three, five uh, or fifty thousand arena coins, uh, one thousand star diamonds, and one hundred thirty heroes insignia. And for the Atlas Agra. Uh, when landing an attack uh, that the enemy resisted, increased damage by 20 or 30% at max. Uh, potential ability increased resistance to freeze, confusion, and terror by 40%. And then for the Atlas Agria X, uh, when landing an attack that the enemy resisted, increased damage by 20% or 30% at max, and increased resistance by, uh, to freeze, confusion, and terror by 40%. And the potential ability then becomes, at the end of each turn, recover 10% 10, uh, 10 HP. And there's also a new character celebration limited doll pack sale. Which, these typically aren't worth it, but for 3,920 uh, yen, you get uh, 3,300 paid star diamonds, a limited doll, uh, 100 of the Rainbow, uh, Rainbow EX book plus 3, and 1.5 million Masetta. And if you go up to 11,000 yen, then you get 9,200 star diamonds paid, three limited dolls, the Glorious Star Stone, uh, Rainbow EX Book Plus 3 times 150, and another 1.5 million Masetta. Which, yeah, those are not worth the... I guess for the star diamonds, because... Here's the thing when it comes to those gotcha star diamonds, like when it comes to the premium currency in any gotcha, they're always that much. So that's nothing new about those kind of prices. Right. Yeah, it's it's yeah, that's that's gotchas for you. Yep. Why I say I we should make a gotcha where it makes the most expensive price twenty dollars. So more people will actually pay into it. Yep. 
that's what we have for Ejola this week. Let's move on now to the one last update that we have, which is for Fantasy Star Universe Clementine. Yes. So this Fancy. is a pretty, so yeah, this is a pretty major update. Um, so they were going to try to do this lot of uh, the last maintenance, but due to complications, they had to push that to now. So this major update is. The, the biggest thing it adds is the S rank, um, the S rank missions. Currently, there looks like to be only eight S rank that missions that you can do, but all of them require getting to level seventy, which now the level cap is seventy. By the way, but yeah. As part of these major updates, all enemies now have jobs for level one hundred to one forty nine. The Seed Argyne now has the ability to cast a Bubble Shield, nullifying all striking damage for a certain amount of time, or until a percentage of his max HP is dealt to damage to its shield by rain or Technic attacks. Um, Delna Dian can now drop the Giga Legs S at level 20 to 29. The Kamazli Kumaz can now properly debuff the player when using Zoldeal, and enemies with a shield buff will no longer resist range damage. But now the biggest one when it is the missions. Eight missions now have the S rank difficulty Unsafe Passage, Dark Satellite, Mad Creatures, Train Rescue, Scarred Planet, Mizoraki Defense, Forested Islands, and System Defense. And I'll note, none of those have a boss inside them. Nope, none of them do. These are all just straight enemy fights. And I'm looking at each of them, and it looks like all of them have enemy level one, like 100 plus from them. So yeah, it, all the enemies will just go above 100. And with the introduction of S rank difficulty, clearing these missions with an, a rank of S will reward one PA fragment. With um, with the PA fragments, you're now able to get all these different skills, bullets, and techniques that were previously unavailable. It costs a lot of PA fragments to get uh, some of them. Like one of them costs 75 PA fragments. Uh, Gravity Break is the, uh, one of them. So yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to run these aspect missions a lot. Or be lucky and get rare missions, because PA fragments all you you can also get PA, fra ugh, PA fragments from there. You can also get them from uh titles, uh, which is how yeah. I got uh 30 of them. Uh just from uh from running that uh that Christmas event uh over and over. Uh, you've got titles now for running different distances. You've got titles for killing bosses up to 250 times, I think. Uh, and yeah. that's for each boss in the game. And so that's that's quite the collection of bosses that you can uh, that you can get them from. Uh, yeah, and yeah, they... the, like each of the titles that give PA fragments give you five of them. So it's like an example of defeat five dragons. And then defeat 10 dragons, defeat 25 dragons, 100, 250. It only goes up to 250 for when it comes to the bosses. But yeah, for every one of the bosses, there's a title for defeating them 250 times. Yep. And then there's also missions or, or titles for clearing missions by yourself or solo. Or like solo or with people, I meant. Eh. So solo or with a party, that's what I meant. So it starts at 1 and then goes up to 5,000. Yep. Uh, it looks like it just doubles each time. So, or like it goes to five, and then from there, it doubles to ten, then goes to fifty, and then doubles there, and then one fifty, then five hundred, then a thousand, then two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five hundred thousand. But yeah, each one of these title wheels give you five PA fragments as well. But the best way to get those is just to run the S rank missions. Yep, especially because then you're then you're still getting a good number of drops at that point. Yes, because um, there are now S rank weapons that are dropping. Yeah, you uh, could technically cheese the cheese the boss ones just by running C rank over and over, but at the same point, you're you're not getting any worthwhile drops at that point. Then. Yeah, so it's better just to run the S rank missions. Yeah, and those those can get really expensive on the on the different uh, discs. Uh, the one I'm looking for is called Killer Shot. That requires 90 PA fragments. Mm -hmm. It's expensive. Luckily, the one I wanted wasn't too terribly expensive. It was the uh, dagger, and that only cost 25 PA fragments. Nice. Yeah. But I need to save up some more so I can get the whip as well. 
Well, keep saving. You'll get it eventually. Eventually. Anyway, so onwards to more of the updates here. Uh, items. Over 200 pieces of clothing has been added to various places along the planet. And approximately 190 pieces of clothing are available from the clothing shops on each planet for 125,000 Meseta. Yep. Uh, out... Fashion is the end game, by the way. You're gonna that's the big Masetta sink <laughs> in this is fashion. Yep. Um, an additional 24 piece of clothing has been placed in the offering box, and these clothing pieces either have one color or are cast variants. Brave Knuckles visual effect has been corrected, Taros all save and caddy anti down have been added, and the um Amithad has is now available from level 100 plus enemies as an area drop. Uh, what is that item? Um, I think that's uh, that's oh. like a Rubenad and things like that. Yeah. So it's needed in um, exchange missions for closing parts. Um, Seva Borga has been added to Dark Falls 1 A rank drops, replacing Kubo Mamba. So the Kubo Mamba, that was a bow, and it got replaced with a dagger. Or not a dagger, a saber. Okay. Uh, for types, limit break requirements have been adjusted five levels downward for all classes that receive limit breaks. Additionally, Fortune Tacker now receives line single technic limit break first instead of damn technics. All classes that receive limit breaks will now receive a technic mastery boost of 10% to the technic mo modifier of all technics when achieving level 20 on that type. And Acrotacker's bullet level cap has been increased to level 30. Yay! I really don't use bullets all that much, but all right, cool. And uh, like I said, all of these different photon arts are now available. Uh, we covered this last time when we were talking about how uh, they're going to be adding all these in, but uh, so I'm not going to go over all of them now, but you can get the striking ones from the uh, skill license exchange, which you enter that through um, Guardians Dagora. Yep. And for all the bullets, you need to go to Guardians Holtus. And for the Technics is the Guardians Otoki. So uh, go to Motu for skills. Um... New days for the Technics, and then uh, Parum. Parum. Yeah, Parum for the bullets. Now, there's not as many Technics as there are skills and bullets, but these Technics are pretty big, especially the uh, dark ones. Megid, Nos Megan, Megathurst, and Megastar. Like, Megastar is, gonna, is one of the biggest ones for me, personally. Yep. And that's 99 PA Fragments. So yeah, the, the it looks like the Technics are the most expensive ones out of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Earth, 75 PA fragments. Nost Mega is 75. Megat is 99. But it comes that, with that chance to one hit kill. Yeah, th that's the trade off there. The Meg, the dark skills have a chance of insta killing. So yeah, that's why they're so expensive. Yeah, and that's something that you, that was not carried over into PSO2 at all. That was that was a really interesting decision uh, say to have made on that one. Mm -hmm. And I'm honestly glad because I get insta killed by enemies way too many times through Mega. It's annoying. Gotta have the escape dolls. Yeah, I do. But it's still annoying. Ah. Anyway, um, balance changes to current photon arts is all striking and bullet photon arts have had their experience tables adjusted to be easier to level. That's good. I like having striking not taking forever to level. Same here uh, for the bullet photon arts. Mm -hmm. um, and balance changes to certain striking bullets and, and techniques. Uh, Boga Zuba power modifier was, was increased by from 325% to 350% at level 40 for an overall increase of 25% across all levels. 
Dust Rob Roboto power modifier on the second combo increased from 200% to 270 at level 40 for an overall increase of 70% across all levels. And target chain changed from 345 to 444. Anga do uh, Rega accuracy modifier increased by 30%, and target chain increased from 111 to 222. Anga Reda power modifier on the third combo was increased from 570 to 750. Jeez, that's a pretty big increase. And I think that's the one for the axe, isn't it? It is an axe. Yeah, all the um, Anga skills are Axe. And Axe is already like a stupid powerhouse. <laughs> and the hitbox size was increased for the third combo. And accuracy was increased by 24% at all levels. Yeah, like Axe is already not strong enough as normal. Uh, Splendor Crush target count on the third combo increased from 3 to 4. And the hitbox size has been increased for the third combo. Uh, Rising Strike Power Modifier on the first combo increased from 220 to 250. Uh, second combo increased from 250 to 300. And Accuracy increased by 25%. Gravity Strike had a increase by 10%. Uh, power Modifier on the second combo was increased by 20%. And Accuracy increased by 15 The Shosen Totsuzanga the modifier on the second combo was increased by 50%. Chiki Kyorenji, uh, first combo increased by 50%, and second combo increased by 110%. Man, they're making skills a lot stronger now. Yep, that's for certain. Mm -hmm. And the Choto Kansujin now ignores player accuracy and enemy evasion, enabling it to no longer hit zeros. Um, which skill is that? Oh, it's for slicers. Okay. Yeah. I think that's the one that you charge up, uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, the second one is like a second charge up. I believe so. Yeah, and it's uh, 22,500 Masetta. It's the more expensive one. Minus the PA Fragment one, obviously. Yeah. Uh, for bullets. Um, all element bullets have been normalized and now use the higher value instead of certain bullets being 5% weaker. Uh, handgun and rifle elemental bullets have a 40% override for status effects at level 11. At 21 plus, the override increases by 50%. The power modifiers for elemental twin handguns was increased by 20%. Shotguns been increased by 20%. Uh, elemental percentages has been increased by 3% at all levels, and hitbox size of the shotgun bullets have been increased by approximately 30%, and power modifiers for elemental laser cannon bullets have been increased by 20% at all levels. And for Technics, there's only one thing. Raman gets status effect change from confusion to infection. That's it. Yep, and, and then going back to bullets real quick, I think you missed uh, that Rising Prism status effect, uh, which changed oh, yeah, from okay. confusion to sleep. Yeah. Honestly, I prefer the sleep status effect over confusion. It's it's an interesting choice because confusion mm -hmm. can cause the enemies to attack each other, though. That is true. Um, for system level cap, like I said, was increased to seventy. Um, over one hundred titles have been added, many of which reward PA fragments, which I already talked about there. Uh, limit break bonuses and now apply immediately after leveling the type to the current level. Uh, Photon Arps should now properly cap among chain types, and enemies in S rank difficulties will move and attack quicker. Which is to be expected, especially yep. because you also get uh, the upgrade of any uh, of any seed enemies to uh, their end game variants. So you yep. got the panins that got upgraded to the bell panins and things like that. So yeah, we're getting the uh, harder content now with the S rank missions. Yep. So yeah, this is this is really where the grinding starts to come into play for uh, Fantasy Star Universe, uh, especially mm -hmm. if you're trying to get all those uh, all those uh, PA fragment uh, skills and uh, everything. So it's uh, it gets expensive. Yep. But, but yeah, it, it's a big grind, but that's how. MMOs are designed. They're designed for big grinds. Yep. That is for certain. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, take that away here now. Mm -hmm. It's uh, yummy anymore. Um, <laughs> Uh, all right, so yeah, that's pretty much everything that uh, that I had. Do you have anything else here, Zance? Uh, not really. Pretty slow week overall, but I'm hoping that we get something big in Global soon. Like I said, I hope we get the Divide Quest soon, especially with getting those uh, fragments in the mission pass there. Yep, definitely. Um, but it's uh, we might have the potential for another... Uh, another uh... Uh, blowout next week of there being almost nothing new. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, we'll have to see, wait and see then. Yep, it's uh, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, really, the big thing that we're waiting for now is uh, is new Genesis and the announcement of who got into the closed beta test. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll be hearing more about that in the near future. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure that's I'm sure that's what the development team is uh, is focused on at this point, and they're not really looking too much at that, very much else at this point here. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited for New Genesis. So I'm Same keeping an here. eye on my email. Hopefully, I get in. Yeah, I'm ho I'm hoping even if even if you don't get into uh, the closed beta, that the that the players will still be able to uh, download the uh, download the uh, the client. Because you know that's that's where leaks come from. Yep. Get those people looking into those files. <laughs> it, it's inevitable that it's going to happen. Oh yeah. I, mean, I, happen I, I would not be. Second. It happened on global a lot. Yeah. I would not be surprised that even if it doesn't get released to the to the general public, that somebody's going to end up leaking the thing. Mm -hmm. But yep. Another week down. We'll see what comes out next week. Could be a very slow week next week, so we'll have to see what we can uh, we, what we can do if that does end up happening. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's but, all that I have on my end. And the same here. And so that brings us to the end of this episode. On behalf of Zance and myself, thank you for joining us today. Day has dawned. Have a great day, everyone. Johnny.